Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on the Siegfried line, and we've got Tyrannosaurus from the 40WR8 clan, sometimes known as the 40% win rate clan. That's a bit of a joke. They're good players. All right, he's in the Type 62. This is a Tier 7 Chinese light tank, and he's bottom tier in a Tier 7, Tier 8 battle. It is a standard battle, so 15 minute game. two light tanks per team and quite a mix actually but um, this team's got three top tier heavies versus the enemy side having two and they've got three four medium tanks um, tier eight versus two so a bit lopsided again from the matchmaker anyway we'll see if that influences the game to any extent Alright, he has got a mission running, which is to stay unspotted and spot for enemies, but we'll just keep track of that. I don't think it's the main focus of this battle. Alright, there's one of the enemy lights. I think he's spotted by the um, 1375, so Tyrannosaurus doesn't pick up that credit. Someone spotted the obsidian, again, most likely the 1375. Uh, just staying in the bush at the moment, just trying to spot, stay unspotted. Yeah, there's no point going to the field because there's obviously a light tank there, so no need to be in the same spot. So just moving forward. And there's the obsidian running away. Fires as as a shot, doesn't connect. Being bumped there. Got a T43 sitting behind him, that's not helpful. Not only do they have less camo and likely to attract attention, um, it's obviously potentially can on pushing out. No, looks like he's moving. Alright. Nice piece of work there. Not sure if Tyrannosaurus has gone away just there. Just Go back into his view. Alright, that T43 taken out. It's a pretty short game for him. There's a couple of obsidians there. Just, uh, oh, he's moving. Yep, alright, just make sure <laughs> it wasn't the game stuck. Okay. See if you can punish this at WZ. Alright, managed to track him. And oh he's, maybe he's used his repair kit and gets the kill. Alright, so fairly a slow paced game at this point, but I think Tyrannosaurus has worked out that yep, he needs to take a bit more direct action in this game, or it could run away. It's an enemy tank on cap, it's gonna be a light tank, I would think. 271 CMCD potentially. So he's just uh, running back here to see if he can spot them out. Yep, it is the T71. He did get spotted there, but no one's going to shoot back at him. He's got the light tanks being dealt with, chased off by the TDs. Let's see if we'll get there. You can potentially punish him. Snap a shot does hit, but um, unfortunately doesn't do any damage. And he's ducked into the um, pond area, I think, just to get out of cover, into cover, I should say. Out of line of sight. Can he punish that T71? Just waiting for his aim to come in. Just slow aim there. But um, yeah, Chinese light tanks, not so great. Uh, there's quite a few Chinese light tanks in the game when this was done, being top of the tree. So bit more emphasis on rewards for playing them, so you can see a few more in there. Uh, it's just sneaking up here, his team starting to fall behind, they're two tanks behind and about 2,000 hit points behind as well. But uh, as the enemy's pushing forward, they're now falling into the guns of the tank destroyers at the back, so, so that's a very aggressive um, set they've got down there, <laughs> not for long. 
And so far, Tyrannosaurus hasn't been able to make much of an impact on this game. Well, he's got shots on the T29 here. Can he do any damage? That's the question. Yes, he can. He might be able to get a kill here, funnily enough. But uh, no, he gets out of line before he can reload and gets taken out by the Gorsic. So just looking for more targets. Oh, he's picking up the AMX M445 there. He's not likely to do much damage, I don't think, but worth a try. He's not going to get spotted. Can he put a shot into the side? Yes, he can, actually. He does do some damage there. And he gets spotted. Now, can he get the kill? Yes, he does. So, nice bit of work there. Still, not a whole lot of damage. Hasn't exceeded his own hit points yet, but two kills already. And that's definitely helping the team out. The enemy with that push through the town has basically lost a lot of health and Tyrannosaurus just coming up again to try and spot them coming forward, provide some vision to the TDs who may not be able to penetrate the line. Oh, he's got the rear of the T-34 fake tank there, but uh, just being let down a little bit by the gun. Does land a shot there. Can't afford to go into auto aim just as he did there, but it's got a little gap to fire through. You can see the hash lines there that is partially behind cover. Anyway, it gets another kill out of that. So finally starting to make an impact. It's now got 2.2k of combined damage, which is what you're looking for in a light tank. And now you can start to punish the tanks that are in the town. So BZ166 there. Got the rear of it, definitely put some shots into him. He doesn't seem to be picking up that he's been spotted, at least, or who's spotting him. And a couple more shots, and he's got him, I think. No, didn't do any damage. Went to the tracks, gets a final shot in, and unfortunately, leaves him still there, one shot of all. But uh, they still have a little bit of advantage now, it's just running the corner to make sure the ball stick is not there anymore, which it doesn't look like. I'd say he's retreated back to cover the cap area. And they're starting to lose some ground on the other side, so he needs to come back here and help out his own team's ball stick. And we've got some low hit point tanks here, catch this obsidian crossing. Oh, it doesn't connect, unfortunately. It does get spotted. So, slightly dangerous. I mean, he's got all his hit points, so he can take a hit or two. But uh, depending on whether the Borsig's got the big gun, he might be able to just about not quite obliterate him in one shot, but um, that would be healthy. The Borsig losing health just there. So, can he round them up and get the final hits in this game? Now, it's doing exactly what you need a light tank to do, which is stay alive to the end of the game and pop up any enemy, enemy tanks. It'd be nicer if it was an auto loader, but that's okay. But there's still four enemy tanks to go, and there's only two on his team, the T43 and him. Oh, he's got this obsidian here. Bang! Sends him back. Does take that big hit from the Borsig, we thought, but the Borsig's one shot of all. He'll reload, gets another kill. So now he's got five kills, he's on track for a top gun, just need to survive. Pick up that BZ-166, who was one shot of all, and then find the TVP. Well, there's the TVP, and he needs to help his T-43 out. Well, unfortunately, couldn't save him. Puts a shot into him, and this TVP is going to come from This is going to be interesting. He needs to take a shot on his tracks. Oh no, he's taken a hit. 36 hit points left. Can he get shots into this TVP and just deny him? That's the question. He's got one more shot he can take, and he's getting pushed by the BZ at the same time. Gets the kill on the TVP. And here comes the BZ, takes the shot on his tracks, that's lucky, and he gets the kill shot. So all of a sudden, he's gone rocketing up to 7 kills and 2.7k of damage. Well, a great ending there for Trinosaurus. It's taken him to 2.7k of damage, 7 kills, 1.1k of assisted damage there, so that's um, 3.8k of combined, which is really nice for a tier 7. Let's get the top gun, and what have we got, the Olex medal, I think. Yes, for killing at least two tanks or tank destroyers that are at a tier above you. And that's earned him the Ace Tank Mastery Badge. Alright, let's have a look at the team scores. 
So it's finished on top with 1401 base. That's a nice level there. Um, Peregrine doing 2.7K on a Progetto 54. Really working hard there, getting 4K. So that was perfect there. Trying to help the team. So those top three tanks there, really doing the most. But if it wasn't for Tyrannosaurus having his health at the end and being basically a quick fire artist <laughs> getting those last kills they would have been wiped out with him being the last tank and uh, on the enemy team Obsidian doing 3.2k that's nice and Borsig doing 3.5 as we noticed it's had the big alpha gun there and another tank the MBT doing 2.2k being the most contributors there uh, but luckily not enough to overcome the ability of Tyrannosaurus so from an output perspective he's fired 24 shots 21 of those hit 17 penetrations uh, not too much sniping there only a small amount of damage done at a long distance and running on a standard account he's made a very tidy profit of 31k without any personal reserves whatsoever so nicely worked out anyway great game there from Tyrannosaurus I hope you enjoyed it I thought the ending there was pretty breathtaking uh, it certainly <laughs> took me by surprise and uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please consider doing that we'll have more great content to follow thanks very much for watching